द ब्लेस्ड दुआ आ रमदान टेल Once upon a time in the bustling town of Crescent Village there lived a young girl named Lela Lela was eagerly awaiting the arrival of Ramadan the blessed month of fasting and praying She heard from her parents about the importance of reciting dua before iftar But she did not quite understand why. As Ramadan approached, Lela's curiosity grew. She decided to ask her grandmother, Grandma Fatma, about the significance of dua before iftar. Grandma Fatma, with her gentle smile and wise eyes, sat down with Lela and began to tell her a tale. Long ago in a distant land there lived a humble farmer named Yusuf Grandma Fatma began Yusuf was known for his kindness and generosity but he had a secret wish that weighed heavy on his heart Yusuf had always dreamed of traveling to Mecca to perform Hajj the sacred pilgrimage But each year as Ramadan came and went his dream remained unfulfilled Determined to seek Allah's blessings and grant his wish he started praying to Allah and began reciting the dua before iftar Allahumma inni laka sumtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakkaltu wa ala rizqika aftartu With unwavering faith, Yusuf recited this dua every evening before breaking his fast, trusting in Allah's mercy and guidance. One Ramadan evening, as Yusuf recited his dua with fervent devotion, something miraculous happened. Grandma Fatma continued, "A shooting star streaked across the sky." illuminating the darkness with its radiant glow Yusuf knew in his heart that his prayers had been heard with tears of gratitude streaming down his face Yusuf prayed to Allah with full devotion pleading for the opportunity to perform Hajj and seek his blessing in the holy city of Mecca And lo and behold Allah answered Yusuf's prayer he was granted the opportunity to perform Hajj Thank Allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik inna alhamd wa an'amata And his journey to Mecca was one of spiritual enlightenment and profound joy As Grandma Fatma finished her tale, Lela's eyes sparkled with wonder and understanding. She realized that reciting dua before iftar was not just a tradition, but a powerful way to connect with Allah and seek his blessings. From that Ramadan onwards, Lela recited her dua before iftar with renewed faith and gratitude. And just like Yusuf, she discovered that Allah's mercy and blessings knew no bounds, filling her heart with peace and joy. And so, dear children, let us remember the lesson of Yusuf and Layla that dua before iftar is a sacred opportunity to seek Allah's blessings and grant our deepest wishes. Through prayers and faith, we can find strength, guidance, and endless blessings in the blessed month of Ramadan.